from movies like Some Kind of Wonderful, my favorite to Back to the Future, Leah Thompson is one of our favorite 80s stars. You may also know her from the popular 90s sitcom Caroline in the City. Earlier, Tori and Al checked in with Leah all about what she's been up to lately. That's in today's special series, Favorite 80s Stars of the 80s. <laughs> Leah Thompson, welcome to DBL. Now you go down in history as one of film's most famous moms because everyone knows Marty McFly's mom. We're talking to her right now, yes. Lorraine, in Back to the Future. Um, um, I hope you don't mind, but George asked if he could take me home. Right, good, good, Lorraine. I have a feeling about you too. So over the course of the trilogy, do you have a favorite specific part about playing Lorraine? Because she's had some good moments. Well, it was a great part because I got to play all the different ages and all the different kind of incarnations of Lorraine McFly. So it was a great part in a great movie. So I couldn't be more thankful to be playing the mother of a 17 year old for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I never thought about that. My father. Did you get kicked out of another boarding school? Yeah, and Back to the Future 2, which I loved, when Lorraine was married to Biff, which I did not love. Yeah. <laughs> but is it true you took a very specific souvenir from the set? Yes, I took my bust. I, they created fake busts for me, and I didn't want it to fall into the wrong hands, so I took my latex dress home with me. Never to be used again. Lee, you could sign that and that could go in the Met. That's well, fantastic. Yeah, that's history. Um, speaking of iconic roles, you got to work with John Hughes in one of my favorites, Some Kind of Wonderful. And people say John Hughes defined a generation, but there's been some criticism here and there for some how young women are portrayed in his films. Molly Ringwald even called much of his writing inappropriate. I just wanted your take. You have the floor. What did you think about that? Well, I think Some Kind of Wonderful was one of his most sensitive movies. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he made too many gaps in that movie, um, as you would see now. But, you know, as history changes and we all expand our minds and our sensitivities, I think it's important to, you know, put things in context for the time. You know, John was trying to do something, but he was also a comedian in a very kind of insensitive time. It's, some of the stuff kind of made me cringe when it happened. Really? When I watched it. But not Some Kind of Wonderful. I mean, my husband been directed it I met him there and we've been married for 32 years so that yay that's some kind of wonderful there we oh Tori you nailed that one. nailed it okay. <laughs> that's that wonderful <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> she's like please go <laughs> all right now we and I, I remember being a little kid and oh watching boy. this we have to talk about Howard the Duck Howard yes the we duck. do it started out as a box office flop and has become an enormous cult classic sometimes I still get this feeling there's some kind of special destiny waiting for me Howard, that's it. Maybe that's why you're here. And even gets a re-release this year to celebrate its 35th anniversary. How has that experience been for you? You know, the fact that they're releasing it in 4K, whatever that is, Whoa. Uh, means that there's a lot of fans. And I think I was in a special time when you could buy a movie for the first time and hold it and own it and play it a million times. And I think because Howard the Duck was probably on sale, <laughs> it's <sold> a lot. <laughs> Currently, you and your daughter Zoe, also an actress, have teamed up on a podcast called A Total Switch Show, right? Where you tell the story of a mother and daughter who actually have switched bodies. What's that like when you're doing this with your actual daughter? How was working with Zoe? Well, Zoe was the producer, so I was super proud that my daughter gave me a job. There's that. <laughs> and it was also the first thing I did in COVID when, when we were all still kind of sequestered away. So it was really fun to act at that time and to make people laugh and to laugh and to kind of create some entertainment because during COVID, I really realized how important entertainment is, you know? And sometimes I don't think of our job as being important, but it is. And it's great to get people's heads out of whatever they're in. That's not so great. DBL Nation, don't forget to check out Leah's podcast, A Total Switch Show on Audible. Yes. Leah Thompson, thank you so much for chatting and thank you for stopping by. I can't wait to listen. We'll be right back. Thanks, Leah.